Oh, it's been recording. <laughs> it is recording. <laughs> Welcome to Well-Rounded Mama's YouTube channel. I'm Sherry and this is Tori. We're midwives here at La um, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ah. We're midwives at Las Vegas. <laughs> Welcome to Well-Rounded Mama's YouTube channel. My name's Sherry, this is Tori. We are midwives here at Well-Rounded Mama. We are located in Las Vegas, Nevada. My daughter thought it would be fun if we would do some reaction videos yeah. to seeing how midwives are portrayed in media, movies, memes, all the things. So They're today, <laughs> Tori and I are reacting to the birthing class video that SNL did. Okay. Well, so are we ready? Here we go. Let's do it. The last few weeks, we've talked about epidurals and other pain management options. But how many of you are planning a natural birth? I really want to do natural childbirth, but my husband keeps fighting me on it. Hey, as long as they still give me drugs for it, I'll be fine. <laughs> well, people all over the world choose natural childbirth, and it can actually be quite beautiful. Hopefully, this tape will encourage everyone to Wait, give it a try. That? <laughs> what kind of tape is that? What? What is it's it? a VHM tape. VHM. It's like a VHS tape, but they only use it in French-speaking Canada and Portland. <laughs> so that's the only place that you can first. Did I think you are expecting their that. first child. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that the girl from um, Bridesmaids? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Leilani and Victor have chosen to have a home birth here in the yurt they built with the insurance yurt. money they received in their previous year. They're expensive. Five. Victor coaches Leilani through sounds that will help her relax and <laughs> open her senses. Oh, hey, <laughs> See, I can't Of course he's calm. He just heard on the radio that the Vietnam War was over. <gasps> Instead of using narcotics, what are they doing? Leilani releases her pain. It's like PBB. <laughs> They are exchanging Free. so much curry breath right now. So much what? Curry the surge breath. of her own body's chemicals send Leilani into a oh, stop. almost a rock. If, some, state of if any of you have a homebirth with me and do any of that nonsense, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm out. If you start licking somebody's eyeball. But what's so funny about these videos? It's just an exaggeration of things, right? Like, like a really big exaggeration. I know, but don't you think that childbirth classes they do always show like these old movies? Yes, they like, really do. Where you're like, like 1980s, yes, where you're kind of like, get something new. Come she's on. literally licking his eyebrow. Though. I I see that. I see <laughs> that she's licking his eyebrow. But and like we're breathing into each other's mouth. I've always said that in a childbirth class, you had a bunch of birthing individuals who wanted to be there, and then their partners who they wanted to be there. When I was pregnant with Riker, I took Mandy's hypnobirthing class. This was before I was with Rowan Mama. This was like way back in the olden days. Yeah, yeah. I remember this other mom who was with in the class. With with us and her partner didn't want to attend because it was hippie stuff and so she brought her mom who was like an rn like she was an older woman so she had to have been an rn like a long time ago and she was so mad every time mandy mentioned placenta like she was like that is disgusting like she was just so mad about it yeah. <laughs> but i remember her so vividly from that class that was like six seven years ago almost yeah. there are probably things as birth professionals that to us have become normal, normal. We can clear out a restaurant. Oh, for sure. We can oh, have yeah. one conversation about like any of the things that we do in a day to day, and they're like, let's keep watching this. Let's keep watching this. I'm gonna do that too. If you do that to me, we're gonna have issues. There's no way. How's he even keeping us? Look at this. This is the dirtiest thing I've ever seen. And I'm talking about the bottoms of her feet. Oh. <laughs> when Leilani feels ready for the ecstasy of pushing, Victor removes her tunic. Her tunic. <laughs> I could never be on SNL. I would just laugh. Like, why? Yeah, she can try any position she wants. That baby's not coming out without a weed whacker. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Beautiful new life about to rip her perineum. A rip her perineum. Oh Why my god. Why are they making their children watch this? <laughs> no, wait. They said this was 
was their first child. <gasps> Whose children are those? <laughs> oh my God, they're in Halloween costumes. Shut up. Why? Why? Why are they trick or treating? Oh, that is it is Halloween? Some murky business. It must be Halloween. As a field of poppies <laughs> blooms almost all at once. Leilani's birthing call. I like how they just have to take their of another woman in the area what? who is ripened with child. Ripened Whoa. with child. Come on, lock your yurt. There were less people than that at our last garage sale. <laughs> Stop These this. two moon sisters in complete synchronicity <laughs> with nature and their bodies, How are they not laughing? Assume a position understand. where they can deliver each other's child. What? What? What is happening? What? Oh. Did the devil make this mess? <laughs> Did the devil make this mess? On a flat screen in the lobby of hell? <laughs> oh! oh. Why? You just really Not took it to like a really <laughs> sick place. No, never mind. Still terrible. Oh, God. Ew, they're looking right at us. <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. Help me. <laughs> Why are you making me watch this? With one I feel like I need to close my eyes. <laughs> Why? Oh. In Indica. Healthy boys into the world. Victor and Jazarus are joyful beyond words. Wait, what? Are those iPhones? When was this made? <laughs> I recorded this last week. In this next section, they cook the placenta in a wok. In a wok? <laughs> Ridiculous. So you have any last minute thoughts on there? I feel like I just watched something I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> like we've never seen anything like it. No. How, what can we compare it to? Nothing. Nothing, Nothing is like that. No, it's pretty exaggerative. I don't think two pregnant women <laughs> birth together. No, I'd be like, get out of my space, woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'd I never, just, that'd be terrible. You know? And like, honestly, like her husband, like touching her that much, I'd be like, stop touching me. Like I've never- Have you had people be really like intimate? I have. I've definitely had people be like really intimate where I felt like I needed to leave <laughs> the room for sure. Okay, I've never felt like that, honestly, at a birth. Never. Time. Never. Not to like, to the point where I felt like I needed to excuse myself. <laughs> I have had to excuse myself. Yeah, but there's some people who do that like orgasmic birth and stuff. Yeah, and then I'm like, I should wait in the other room. Let me know, <laughs> let me know when your baby's here and I'll come weigh them or something. But the cool thing is about home birth is it gets to be like whatever you, you want, want it to be. It's like, but a most magic. of the time it is this very like kind of mm. mainstream kind of moment. Most women don't want to be touched. Sometimes they do want to. Be. Well, like their backs rubbed, but not their eyeballs licked. I like my eyeballs. <laughs> I'm not licking your eyeball. <laughs> so anyways, that's our reaction to SNL's childbirth class. Where do class. you find this stuff? You know, me? you were, <laughs> she's the one who showed me the alien video too, to be fair. That was funny. It is really funny. That was a good, it was a good exaggeration. But right. thanks for joining. We'll see you next week. Did you tell them to like it? Share it, ring the bell? She's a terrible host. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Move. <laughs> All right. Gosh, Adam, you're in my way. I know. I'm always okay. in the way. Okay. 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 What a okay. Okay. SNL is so wild. I could never be them. Like, I want their job because they have to have so much fun. But like, I could, I'd be the worst. I would just laugh the whole time. Oh, for sure. I'd be like, I would um, be the Jimmy Fallon of SNL skits. There you go. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what, what you really, you really want. want. Yeah, because it's not the end of the world yet. I refuse. It's not the end of the world. I, I did my makeup, so it can't be the end I of the world. I didn't have time to do my hair, so I've just been wearing I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Okay. I feel like the Spice Girl should do a reunion tour after this.